fistula or if there is an external or internal resorption and if there is a pathological mobility also you cannot go for a pulpotomy now let's see what is the classification of pulpotomy so basically you can divide you can broadly classify pulpotomy as vital pulpotomy and non vital pulpotomy it is further sub classified vital pulpotomy is further divided into three types okay it is important to learn this please remember it is sub classified into three types the first one is devitalization preservation and regeneration so let's start with devitalization it is actually self explanatory okay devitalization means what you're doing is you are removing the vital part of the tissue so the other name of it is mummification okay the other name is mummification and what is the feature of devitalization it is intended to destroy or mummify the vital tissue right it is devitalization so it is going to destroy or it is going to mummify your vital tissue and the examples please remember it is your formocresol electro surgery and laser now coming to preservation it is somewhat the opposite of devitalization and the other name is minimal devitalization why because it actually maintains the maximum vital tissue to somewhat opposite to your devitalization in devitalization we were destroying the vital tissue but here we are preserving we are keeping the vital tissue as far as we could and the examples are zinc oxide eugenol glutaraldehyde etc and then the third category is regeneration okay and the other name is reparative Okay. regeneration which means what will be the feature they are trying to form a dentin bridge okay and the examples are calcium hydroxide enriched collagen osteogenic protein etc now moving on to non vital pulpotomy it's not very common there is only one type and that is mortal pulpotomy and the feature is that it is done in compromised cases and the example is beechwood cresol Now let's see a little bit detail about formocresol pulpotomy. So we just saw in the classification that it is a type of vital pulpotomy and it is a single stage pulpotomy. Okay, it's a single stage pulpotomy and formocresol was introduced by Buckley. Okay? And now formocresol we have to learn the composition of formocresol which was given by Buckley and therefore it is called as a Buckley's formula. It's very important that you learn this composition. Cresol glycerol formaldehyde and water cresol is 35% glycerol is 15% formaldehyde 19% and water 31% now let's just see the procedure of formocresol pulpotomy step by step okay so what is the first step definitely you anesthetize the tooth and you isolate it with rubber dam and then you remove all the caries okay preferably we can use a straight fissure burr and then you remove the dentinal roof after you remove the dentinal roof you enlarge that exposed area and you deroof the entire pulp chamber and then with a spoon excavator you can just scoop out only the coronal pulp okay just scoop out the coronal pulp and then you clean the pulp chamber with saline and then you remove all the debris And the next thing what you do is you place a cotton pellet over the pulp stem because you have to achieve what is called as hemostasis you have to control the bleeding right and then using a cotton pellet itself you have to apply this diluted formocresol to that pulp portion for approximately like 4 minutes okay for approximately 4 minutes just apply that diluted formocresol on a cotton pellet and then remove the cotton pellet and check for fixation after 4 minutes just check for fixation and how do you check for fixation just see if there is a brownish discoloration of the pellet as well as the pulp if that brown color is there it shows that it has been fixed properly and then you place the zinc oxide eugenol cement in the pulp chamber and after one week you can recall the patient and then if the patient is asymptomatic then you can place a permanent restoration and followed by a stainless steel crown okay so now let me just show you a quick video about how pulpotomy is done so we perform pulpotomy when the caries lesion is seen in the coronal region right Uh, so first what we do is using a burr we remove that caries lesion entirely from the coronal portion okay we clean it out and then using a spoon excavator we have to scoop out the entire coronal pulp 
okay only the coronal region we do not touch the radicular bulb and then we place a sedative dressing okay a temporary dressing and then in the later visits we'll replace that with the permanent filling and then if the tooth is completely asymptomatic what we do is we will prepare it for a crown we will do the tooth preparation and then later on we will place a fabricated a prefabricated crown on the tooth so this is how the steps of pulpotomy are done so hope the concept of pulpotomy was clear for you all thank you for watching